Greetings, cadets. I'm Commodore Eric Desir. Welcome to your first cadet cruise on the USS Cairo. You are on a Loch Nahr class frigate. Captain Eliafi has the information, or the library computer, has the information on your ship. Could you pass that? Let that go around the table, please, sir. Um, briefly and quickly, before you embark and I leave on my shuttlecraft, I wanted to let you know that space is awesome. Within that awesomeness, it's also dangerous. And I want you all to practice safety first. Be careful with yourselves and be careful with those around you. Your ship has all the gravity and oxygen that you need so that you can live your lives normally. It has the food and water that you need, everything you need. Um, but it is a little crowded. <coughs> so you gotta be respectful to one another and be careful what you say. This is a very diverse cadet cruise. We have Cations, we have Andorians, Ephrosians, Vulcans with humans. You all get to know each other quite well. And I wish you the best. General order number one is the most important general order that you must never forget. And that is, do not interfere with the progress or the life of, of other living species who are not as advanced as us. Don't ever show up on a planet and the, type, and the people living on the planet are living in caves and just learning how to use fire. If you show up, you know what they're gonna think when they see you. Okay? If any one of your shipmates does interfere with another species, on purpose or on accident, you have to tell them to stop and report them to Captain Eliafi, Captain Hashmi, or Captain Neor. I think I said that right. I'm hard with that Cation language. Your superior officers are here to help you. But if there's ever anything that you need to address, that you have a problem with, or you need help with, just contact me. They understand that they can do the same with me, because I am the superior officer. And also we have, we have three officers you can report to. But me, I'm not gonna be on your ship. However, you can contact me on subspace channel 00, Seven one nine seven three. That's subspace channel zero zero seven one nine seven three. Very good. Thank you. Are there any questions for for me? Anything you needed to know? What's general order number two? Are there any more? General we have a list of the general orders for you right here. Um, General Order 2 through 25. Brother, brother, you can memorize them if brother. you want. Yeah. Do you, who's raising your hand? Yes. Who's raising their hand? Abila. Oh, she's all right. OK. So here, here. I can't hold this for you, you big boy. Yes. What was the 0071973 for? If you need to contact me, that's the subspace channel that, I, that you can reach me on. We use subspace communications, you know, in 200 years in the future because yes, it takes forever for a message to travel normal radio waves. Do we use light waves? Uh, no, we go into... <coughs> I think your, your science officers would be able to help you most, but pretty much we 
our, our, our voice communication travel at the speed of light. That's why it's called subspace, so it goes beyond normal space. Because our warp engines fold space. So the distance is no longer from here to here, it's now from here to here. Because we folded space with our warp engines. Yes? Um, with our subspace channel, is this the correct number? 00719737? You got it. Your ship, the USS Cairo, all of you uh, are in your various departments. Some of you are on the bridge, some of you are not. Right now it doesn't matter, but you're at your stations. Um, in this game, just as a, as a game master here to help you all out, it's very important to ask questions to the game master. Like this. What do I see? What's on the screen? What's on my control panel? Do I see something? Each one of you has a job. What does it smell like? What do we hear? You have to ask these kind of questions and we can bring the story together so you can follow it. Engineering, he's down in the ship's engines. Medical, you are in the sick bay. All right, navigation, raise your hand. Okay, you're at the navigator's seat on the bridge in the middle. The captain's in the middle in the captain's seat. Okay, so everyone's doing their thing. Well, you're in a far part of Federation space, specifically over here. And you happen to be close to Deep Space Research Facility number 39. Captain, Starfleet procedures require that any time a Starfleet ship passes or goes near a Federation Deep Space Research Facility, that that ship do a courtesy contact. That means they call the space station, say, this is the USS such and such. Could you uh, please acknowledge? We're just checking up to see your status. That whatever it is. You just have to call them up, see how they're doing. Because the deep space research facilities, there's, there's quite a few of them. The reason why they put these stations way out in the far reaches of space is because usually the experiments they're working on can be very dangerous and cause massive death <laughs> if it's near a planet where the living species are, where there's life. So um, it's just a matter of procedure, just to check in. No big deal. Message from Yes, Cairo, Lochner. Uh, <coughs> Uh, coded from the from. <laughs> Just tell her. Start again. Please record. Uh, please send this message from the FDR thirty nine to to them to just. Oh. Me. <laughs> oh boy. Is that the message you want to send? You're at the bridge. Y'all got to help you, Captain. You're not helping them by making fun of them. <coughs> yes. Okay. You can talk from there. Yeah. Um, Captain, could I send a message for you? Yes. Okay. FDR uh, 39, please respond to our message. Send. Cairo. U.S. is Cairo. Acknowledge. Hear me. Four. Day. Go ahead. What's your status? Repeat. Storm. Do you need any assistance in... Do you need any assistance within your, well, area of, well, trouble? No trouble. Just no one ever, if it weren't for the, now, signal's breaking up really bad. Um, one way to really help with communications is to be able to see. Because right now all you're doing is hearing. 
So you should ask your communications officer to get a visual, open up visual communications. Communication officer, could you get a visual uh, look at the FDR 39? Give her a black and a white, white dye symbol, please. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. All right. What's your communications uh, systems operation? Up top. 40. Okay, 40. I want you to uh, roll right now. What'd you get? 81. She couldn't get the visual. All you get is the audio. You folks get all the shh, interesting shh jobs, but shh, I can hardly hear you, but I, I tell you, this storm is really something. It, I think it's clearing up. Can you hear me now? Yep. Yeah. Yes, we can. Okay, let the captain talk now. Yes. Well, I I just, I gotta tell you, we're just doing great here. I just, <coughs> all of a sudden the voice completely stopped and you still hear the carrier wave. So no longer was it interference. It was like he was talking and he lost his voice or something. The communication, so he's still transmitting, but now the voice is completely gone. So all you hear is, you know, a little bit of static, just like before, but no voice. We better go check it out. If you have a question for the captain, ask. What does the ship look like? Captain. Communication officer, could you try again and try to get visual? All right. Hey. Oh, sorry, this is my die. <laughs> mm -hmm. What'd you roll? 53. And what's your skill level? 40. Wait for the computer systems operation. No, right. she, she can't get it. You want to know what it looks like? That would be a question for the science officer in the library computer. Uh, Ask, go ahead. Excuse me? Yes. yes. Bula. Do Bula. Bula. Can't maybe you help me find a way to see the ship that we are communicating at? Okay, I'll try. Okay, no. It's a simple skill for you. You don't have to roll. You can pass this around. Don't look on the back side, please. It's a space station. Great question, by the way. You asked a really good question. What is Deep Space <laughs> Research Facility 39? What does it look like, right? <coughs> we better should check out there. You, you got a crew, man. You need to talk to your crew. Helmsman drives the ship. Navigator sets the course. What about that storm? You curious about that storm? Yeah. Okay. Um. Hey, Captain. Yeah. Captain. Oh, who does meteorology? Could we go um, make a uh, connection with Commander? Yes. For the okay. Commodore. Commodore. Yeah. All right, what's, what's the uh, communications officer plugs it in, the subspace channel? Which subspace channel is it? Uh, uh, zero. Zero, zero, seven, this is Commodore Basir, how you doing? You guys just uh, dropped me off and now you're asking for help. This isn't good. No, uh, Deep Space Station is in trouble. There's a storm. Like, we still are on commute, like, we're still like with them but there's no voice and they're, hmm. they're reporting about some storm Could storm do you know what kind of storm it is no he just uh he just said oh uh the like I think I the reporter just said oh the storm is and that was it what do you mean that was it that was there is there like, still a signal are like you still getting a st signal from still them still getting a signal just static but and his voice no disappeared voice. his voice disappeared you got to have your, your uh, science officer scan out in that direction to see what kind of storm it is. That's all I can say. I, I have no, uh, I'm still in my shuttlecraft. There's no way I can scan it from here. Speaking of which, um, I've got to concentrate on driving the shuttlecraft, so we're going to have to cut it short. Anything else you need to know? Nope. All right. All. all right, good luck.
Ladies and gentlemen, so, come to Vizier out. Okay? Alright, it looks like Rada and Amarish. Could you like sense what's happening there? Like, um, it's too far. Yeah, too far. Well, you'd have to be on. You'd have to be right there. It looks like to know I, what kind of storm it is. So, why don't you have your science officer scan this facility? I thought we didn't have any. Didn't have any what? We didn't have, have the science that. officers. She's your science officer. Oh, oh can you please scan? Yes. Go for it. What's your uh, sensor operation? Alphabetical S. What is it? On your skills, sensor S. Starship sensor, star, right here. What is it? Starship After. sensor. After star you see it? Held in operation. Yeah. 41. Forty-one. Roll. Let's see what you get. Two. Twenty. I think. No, that's a zero too. Oh, you got it. You scanned right on. I'll zero. tell you what oh, it is. Oh yeah, I forgot what zero is. Zero two is great. Um, I'll tell you exactly what it is. Uh, science officer just got the information. This is a level three mag uh, magnetic storm surrounding the area of the space station. That is a severe magnetic storm. So that means uh, you might have to have the shields up once if you decide to go to the station. Once you start orbiting the station, you should have your shields up because that magnetic storm is going to wreak havoc on the ship. Right, Commander Sir. Mm -hmm. uh, should I put up the shields if we're going? Yes. All right. It's better procedure put up shields after you arrive. Mm -hmm. Don't do it now. You'll use up too much energy. Right. Uh, my helms. Look. Helmsman. Yes. Could you drive us to the F uh, FD thirty nine? Tell him to plot a course. To plot a course. Plot a course to FDR 39. Can you please plot a course at the FD 39? Yes, yes, Captain, sir. Very good. And then you say, Helmsman. Helmsman, can you. Now you have, tell him how fast. So you have warp one through warp. 10. No, the Lachnar doesn't go to warp, 10. Uh, warp 18. three, I guess. Where's that Lachnar sheet at? Uh, Did someone give it to me? I thought yeah. it. Someone gave it to me? Oh, I got it. Okay, you have a... Okay, so safe cruising speed is warp six, and emergency speed is eight. If you go emergency speed, you'll get there really fast, probably in about 20 minutes. If you go at warp six, you'll get there in about an hour, but if you go at eight, engineering is going to have to do a lot of uh, making sure the ship doesn't rattle apart. We better go on warp six. So, warp six. Tell them. How long have go on FD-39 warp six speed? Okay. Okay. And you have to say, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Food so, evil. while you're going there, a good okay, thing to do... No. Sorry, a good thing to do while you're en route is to go and have a meeting, okay? In the briefing room, okay? And you're gonna have to pick a landing party. But I actually have kind of picked that for you so you didn't have to make anyone upset with you. Like, why didn't you pick me to go? Because you might have to go um, into the space station if you know, you don't like what you found. So you're going to have to get people together. But anyways, you got your whole staff with you. Everyone here in the briefing room. Okay? And you got to make a plan of how to handle this. Excuse me, science officer? Yes. Can you scan how strong the magnetism is? Sh sure. She said it was a level three. Oh, it's a level three storm. Oh yeah. So that will that will disrupt all your electronics on your ship. It could destroy some of them too. Okay. So now you're in the briefing room. It's real important in this adventure to ask questions and investigate. Okay. Now you're going to be at a space station. You know, 
what space station? What's it like? What's the area that we're going? What's this? What's that? So it's now time to talk with your staff, get some opinions on what they think you should do. Well, what we're not you should do when you get there. Empty handed. Well, go ahead, talk. I'm going to give you guys a couple minutes to talk with each other. Um, yeah. Um, I think I think you should take a couple people. Security, s security, helms, and science officer. Helm. Well, Sir. I've already chosen. He's already chosen the landing party. Who's gonna go? Oh. So talk about other things. Okay, like I, maybe we should we go sh armed. Let's think about what has just happened and what you're about to do. But he's okay. But they said that it was going okay, Pro and hmm. probably someone can start it. Start what? The uh, thunderstorm, the magnetic. magnetic magnetic storm. Yeah. No one started. It. Well, I don't know. Maybe someone did, but it's a natural phenomenon in space, <laughs> especially where stars are nearby. We get magnetic storms here in, on our planet all the time. But we have an atmosphere to protect us from it. <laughs> but you said they were okay. They knew it was a storm there. Mm -hmm. Someone must have attacked them. Well, talk with your people. Tell them okay. that. Okay, I'm ready. Well, we're going to need to come with phasers. Commander, sir. Now we can get dirty. <laughs> Commander, sir. That would be yeah. the appropriate Speak thing up. to do. Speak up. So we should uh, send our landing party with protection. Do you have any okay. like anti phaser phaser like inform? Okay, you have an equipment list if you want to go over it with your first officer or with some of your teammates sure. here. I'll yeah. pass it. <coughs> if there's things I, I will warn you that if you carry too much with you, <coughs> you're not gonna you're not going on a hiking trip. Okay? You'll you might beam there. Well well, I'll let you guys ask questions about this facility. So y'all talk to your captain. If you got things in your mind, bring it up. Captain. Um, captain. Okay, one at a time. So go um, ahead. You have a question for the captain. Go ahead. Maybe we should go Listen. with a few unarmed, a few armed. Maybe that's how we should go down. It is. It is Starfleet procedure for everyone to have at least a Phaser One with them. What's a Phaser One? I'll show you some of the standard equipment. One is a tricorder. This is a scanner, a portable scanner, a little computer. Is that really a tricorder? And, I mean. and this is a, what you call a sciences tricorder. <laughs> you have a medical tricorder to check health and vital signs. Then you have Phaser one, and then this is phaser two. Whatever, okay? Phaser one is what everyone has to have, at least a phaser one, okay? Now, with weapons comes great responsibility, of course. And everyone needs a communicator to communicate with each other in, in the ship, if you can, if the ship's there. <laughs> Okay? Now there's a list here. A doctor should have a med pouch. Okay? A doctor should have a med pouch. And uh, that should be the most important things that you guys carry. Okay? Mm -hmm. So tricorders, communicators, med pouch. Here's the equipment list. You know, if anyone's curious, they can look at it. If they want to bring anything else, they can. There's, you were talking about being safe. There are environmental suits. You can go over there beamed over in, in a complete oxygen suit. You'll be, uh, Helmsman has just reported that you'll be in orbit around the space station in a couple minutes. So I suggest you guys talk. What do you want to know about the station? What do you, talk about your plan. What you're gonna, what are you dealing with, right? We're gonna need space suits. Because the humans can't breathe. Uh, Captain? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, which, which, which side? Like, maybe people 
Yeah, I did nothing about it. Uh, my uh, science officer, could you scan? What, what, yeah. what, scan kind of, what? what kind of race the people are? That's a library computer check. So you want to check the library computer? Sure. Okay. Talk to the computer. Say computer. What should I say? Just say computer. Computer. Working. What should I say? Just say what? What is the race of the what is the race of peop What's the race of the people <gasps> at the FD thirty nine station? Um. What is the race of the people at the FD? F what is it? FD thirty nine. FD thirty nine station. Station. Working. Human, Tellarite, Vulcan, Andorian. Okay. There are approximately 40 crew and personnel renting space on the space station okay. for various activities, some of which are confidential and not accessible by the library computer on this ship. Library computer, can you can you can you repeat? Say computer. Computer, repeat, repeat. Please say, please say computer, repeat. There is general information available on FDR facility 39. It is available if you need it. <coughs> there is a personnel roster also available of all of the inhabitants. There are Vulcans, humans, Tellarites, and Andorians. Hey, uh, computer. Working. Are we at the space station? We are now located. Helmsman dropped out of warp and is orbiting space station, deep space research facility 39. Uh, okay, now. What did the library computer say that you all should have asked a question about? There were two things. What, Mustafa? Uh, Tellarite, the... Uh-huh. Like, what race is it? Like? Yeah. And what else could you have gotten from that? Computer said a roster was available. Oh. Computer also said there is more information on the research facility. Please search. Computer, please search. Information is available. It shows up on the readout screen, everything. It's right here, if you want to look at it. Oh well. No, so doctor, we doctor, want, doctor wants to look at it. So maybe he'll report something. Does someone want to look at information on this place that you're going to? Or are you just going to show up? <laughs> you're just going to show up? See, this is what you should be discussing in the briefing room. Computer? What's going on? Read to each other what you're learning. Working. What is the far, what is the furthest planet we can travel from the space station? Working. The Grix and Grossic systems, approximately six parsecs from FDR 39. That means it'll take about a week to get there. There's no other inhabited. There are no inhabited planets around FDR 39. Mm. Now y'all who are learning stuff and getting information and reading it, you should share it with your teammates, especially with the captain. Go ahead. Working. So what is no gravity? No gravity is zero gravity. You need to tell the captain what you're learning. Captain. 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 Yes. He said yes. Okay. All of a sudden the ship shakes. Everybody just moves in there. Oh, we got, we got to put the shield. Captain. 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 Shakes again. 
Yes. Operate shields. Y'all gonna go to the bridge? Or are you still gonna hang out in the briefing room? Alright, let's put up our shields. Science you need to call the navigator quick. Navigator, put on power on shields. Sh tell him shields up. Shields. shields up. Shields up. Okay. Now Very let's good. ready to go. Very good. Alright. Alright, what's our party? Captain? Science okay. officer. Science officer. Officer, can you scan what what did what did that robo link? Okay, did you roll for that? Uh, no, you don't have to roll. It's the magnetic storm, you're right in the middle of it. Uh-oh. You and the space station. Obviously. <laughs> yep. Good question. Excellent. Captain? 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 Captain. Yes. <laughs> no wonder there are, no there are no inhabited planets around the space station, because there's so dangerous experiments there. Yes. So they would die if they were living too close. Mm hmm Yep. And then, let's get off the ship. So it would type. Okay, your landing party. Anyone who has an LP at the top left corner of their character sheet is the landing party. Okay? You have an LP? Raise your hand. On what? On your uh, character sheet. sheet. Uh, words up here. You don't have it. Yeah. You're on the ship. He needs you on the ship. You're not on. You're not a landing party. Everybody, please sit down. We're still in the briefing room. Where's the LP? It's supposed to be on the top. How many we got? I got LP. Oh right. You know why I didn't give you? Hey, you know why I didn't give you where you have? Because you and him, you have to decide. Is it you gonna go on the landing party or is he gonna go? It's it's typically typically Starfleet procedure sends the first officer as a landing party, so the captain stays with the ship. Because if the ship is destroyed, he goes down with the ship. Yeah. And that's why they do that. So you can go. Captain Kirk always went on landing parties, but you can go. But he he's in charge of the ship. You can send him if you want. Well, yeah, I'll send him. Okay. So you're going, all right? Everyone who's on the landing party, we're going to do a quick shift. No, we're not. We're going to stay right here. Raise your hand again. Landing party, great, great. OK, put your hands down. All right, well, library computer is something you're going to have to work with, guys. You're definitely going to have to work with it on your space station. So ready to beam down. Yes. Yes, sir. yes, sir. You go to the transporter room. Ship is still shaking a little bit, but not Be as careful. strong as before. And find some extra information if you can. And I guess you guys didn't take any other supplies, so all you have is... Tricoders. You have what? Phaser 1 or Phaser 2? What did you phaser take? Ones. Phaser 1. Phaser 1? Okay. I need to nope. take a... By the way, if you shoot it, mm -hmm. you really shoot it. Do so mean? don't press any buttons on it. I need to take an environmental suit. What the heck? Okay, you you're, you're gonna wear an environmental suit. Scan, scan for life. Do you need a roll? You do, because the magnetic storm is wreaking havoc. Okay. So you're 41. Mm -hmm. All right. Six, 68. Bad reading. Not sure. Take. So what you can do now, you can wait a minute. Go ahead. And I think I'm going to take it just in case there's no oxygen. Okay, so you're going to have everyone in an environmental suit. Computer? Because yeah. otherwise you go by yourself and then it's like, right? So you're going to recommend that everyone wear one. Commander, right? I suggest... Commander okay, what? everyone puts on an environmental suit. Could you... Navigator, right. could you check if there's any living thing? Because... No. Navigator can not do that. Peter? Science officer can see if there's living. She no, just did a scan. No, like he's in a now you got your environmental suits on, she can roll again. Go ahead. Yes. 88. Azar. All right. Azar, I'm just, it, it's calling computer. I'm working. Well, can we pass the magnetic storm without being killed? Affirmative. It is recommended that you keep your shields up. 
and keep your crew safe. There will be strong shifts in gravity from time to time. Commander? All right, now. Um, you're in your suits. Can you be? Let me do a roll here. Okay, now as you're beaming in, you you see the transporter room on the Ky USS Cairo disappear, and then you start to see another transporter room, which is probably the space station, appear in front of you. Then all of a sudden it disappears, and then you see the you're back in the USS Cairo, and you see the transporter operator pulling. And you see the ship shaking. This is called a rough beam. Finally, you appear. <coughs> and all of you uh, me? have what's called, all of you on the landing party have what's called mild transporter sickness. And it's a headache. OK? A medic, medic. Captain. Captain Brink. This is Transporter <coughs> Chief calling. Yes. There, that magnetic storm is too strong. We can't beam anyone else down there. And I'm afraid until this storm passes, we're not going to be able to beam anyone back. All right. Let me. It's okay. All right. Landing party. You appear in this space station. Just to give you some pictures. This is kind of it's a little picture of. I'm just checking. Put it down. This is a picture of the space station. That's your ship in orbit. That's actually a different type of ship, but don't worry about it. Yeah. All right, you're in the transporter room. And uh, in the Star Trek, in this game, we will be using maps if you need to use them. But you actually have, if you want information, you have to access computers. Okay? So, strangely, usually there's a transporter operator in the place where you beam down to. There's nobody there. In fact, the room is empty. There's no technicians in there. There is a wall in front of you, a hallway going that way, a hallway going the other way. There's a big hallway behind the uh, the council. This is your landing party, sir. If you all have something to say on the landing party, talk to him. On the ship, you got to be quiet right now. Right now, the action's with the landing party. OK, um, who's the landing party? OK, um. He, he's got something. <clears throat> Please go to the you should be able to do this. Not a hand. Okay, go ahead. Um, uh, do we have a rad meter? He's got something. Do, yeah. I think we should uh, explore the ship, see if there's any people on on the ship, on the rest of the ship. Could you get an oxygen reading level check? All right, who's your science officer with you? Who's science? You're, being, you're, on, the, you're on the landing party? Okay. You have your tricorder. He wants to check for radiation? No, oxygen and radiation. Oxygen and radiation? Okay, so you're holding it, hit one of those buttons and... Simple. It's a regular oxygen nitrogen atmosphere. Normal levels. Okay. There's plenty of oxygen and Take gravity. Off those suits. All right. Everyone takes off their environmental suits. All right. Very good. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. Which direction do you guys want to go in the um, hallway or? Uh, the okay, I give corners? you. I give you. There is a. There's the big hallway behind the the control panel. Is a. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna do this to you. I'm, I'm gonna let you see it. You beam down right here. There's the control panel. So there's security chiefs, chief engineer, communications, station manager's office, assistant station manager's office. So These are all different rooms that might have clues 
Can we check the man? Let's go check the manager's You're on the ship. First. Oh, yes, bathroom. Sir. Okay, go ahead. Yes. Can we check the manager's office first? Okay. You see a, a control panel on the desk, and on it it says memo. That's it. Yes. Did it say demo or memo? memo? It says memo on it. Check the, could the, like, who has this, like, computer? Technic, technic, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, experience with computers. Everyone here does. Okay, so. So you want to look at the memo? Is that what yeah. you're saying? Yes. Yeah. Okay, the memo. It, it's a memo reminding the station manager of his scheduled inspection tour of the Tachyon Mechanical Lab. The inspection is supposed to take place at 1 p.m. of the current day, which is almost an hour away. Yeah. Most of the, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you want to know about the other offices, there's there's a few. But uh, station manager's office was next. If you want to check the other, yes. Computer. Are you on the landing party? Okay, not right now. Um, do you want to check? So you have in here. You just check that, so you have security chief's office, security. chief engineer's office. Uh, do I security? Security. Security. You check the security chief office. Yes. Okay. All right. It's a pretty neat office. Nothing really important, but there is a computer terminal. Okay, thank you. Okay? Okay. So the computer terminal. You wanna check it? Okay. We're gonna check it. Okay. Computer. Check the computer. Uh, there's secure info on it. Yeah, come on in. Yeah, go ahead. There's secure information on it. Okay. With password. Uh -oh. Can you try for that, sir? You want to try to break in? Roll against your computer operation. Do you it? do it. No, you do it. You're the science officer. 64. And what's your computer operation skill? Um, computer 50. No. But there is uh, regular information, but it's just typical information about the ship, such as deck plans and whatnot. Okay, now, this is what we're going to do. It's 515, so at 515, Every game session, we're going to stop what we're playing and we're going to do a little writing. But I wanted to get a little further with this investigation. Okay? Now, there is, a, there is some more clues you didn't check. There's the transporter console, mm -hmm. which, which you saw when you beamed in. There's the communications office. And there's hall, hallways. Now you can try, just because you didn't get in one time, you can try again in the next turn. But it'd be good to send people around, you know. Okay. You can um, split people up if you want. So we're going to split up. Okay. Right now. I'm I'll stay in the um, security room to try to in the password. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I, uh, I, I think I should go through the hallways and see if there's any clues. And officer, uh, should, where do you, you want to go? Okay. okay. You have other people here too. Um, Other landing party? You want them to go somewhere? You want them yeah. to go in the hallway together? Yeah. There's By the way, you more. don't, you still don't see anybody. Any people? Okay. Okay. Do we so have like, like some sort office, of the computer? Like, computer? Okay. So who's going in the hallway? Okay. So you, you, all of you are going in the hallway. Then four people are going in the hallway. Okay. So four people are going in the hallway. No, two. Okay. Which two? Um. Uh, Mustafa and Imran. Okay, so you two go in the hallway, and uh, all you hear, so all you, you don't me. see anybody, huh? I was just saying. Oh. oh. Um. Oh. All you uh, see, all, you don't see anything, except uh, water running. You hear water running. 
Take it running out. water somewhere. Report. Okay, no, no, no. Now, you're in a different room. Okay, so... So if you want to talk to him, you got to use your communicator. Pass that down. What, what button do I press? None. Just talk. Just say, uh, uh, cadet. Cadet, what's the, what do you see? Just, yeah, you talk like that, yeah. yeah. Yes, I, I hear water running. Okay. I, I'm going to go see where it's coming from. Okay. Uh, stand by. We're going to go check. Come. So you're going with him? I'm going with him. Okay. Okay. Can I try to um, break the password? Go ahead. All right. That's so cool. 96. Yeah. No? Still. Beep, beep, beep. Error. <laughs> just try again. What? Just try again. I remember y'all got tricorders. You should be <clears throat> scanning for life. Much right? I'm not scan for life. Uh, as you can more she's than her. More qualified. Life. Or your engineering. What's your computer operation skills anyway? Um, 50. Could you scan for life? She, she's pretty high. Yeah. Is that shit easy? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. easy. Do you have to roll for it? Do you have to roll for a scanning for life? Yep. Oh. Actually, no. Oh. Go ahead. Scan. Yep, hit that button, any button. Mm. <laughs> well, the only life on board that you that you were able to pick up is your landing party. All of those people that worked there, including that station manager that you spoke with, there's no sign of them. So next week, we got some people in the hallway, we got some people in the other rooms. You're gonna have to do some investigating. And find out where do these people go and where are they hiding, if they're hiding.